same person is trying to run for the office that, that is running alongside a 47-year-old person. I don't know how you want to say that you are truly an advocate for youth employment. But every generation has a choice to make. They can choose to either be a wasted generation or they can choose to be a great generation. Now, a wasted generation is any generation that hands over a disadvantage to the next generation and says it's now up to you to fix it. A wasted generation enjoys constant power and then hands over generators to the next generation. A wasted generation knocks out water from the taps and knocks out education from its schools and therefore does not want its own children to go to the same schools that prepared it for leadership. A wasted generation knocks out safety from its roads so that today Nigeria is actually ranked 191 out of 192 countries for safety of road. There's only one nation that, is more, that has more unsafe roads than us. I'll leave you to go and Google it. <laughs> but don't forget that we also have, under the international um, safety, sorry, one second, so I get it right, the World International Security and Police Index, Nigeria is currently ranked the worst police force in Africa and in the world. This is not me saying it, this is what the statistics are saying. Ten and a half million children are currently out of school. And rather than us find schools for them, we blame them for not going to school. Okay, maybe not all of us, but someone blames them for not going to school and calls them, you said it. <laughs> Today, 300,000 children are out of school, not because they don't want to go to school in Benue State, but just because of the herdsmen attack. Today, Nigeria has one doctor serving 6,000 patients, whereas the world average is one doctor to 600 patients. We have inherited a nation that isn't really working much. But that's not good enough a reason for us to bequeath a nation that doesn't work to the next generation. So my question is, in 2019, as we must make up our minds today, we are going to ask ourselves, are we going to be a wasted generation? No, I wish I could hear you speak at least on behalf of your generation. So if we're not going to be a wasted generation, the only option we have is to be a great generation. And I like the way Nelson Mandela said it. He says, sometimes it falls upon a generation to be great. He says, you can be that great generation, but now the responsibility is upon you to let your greatness blossom. So what is a great generation? Well, a great generation is a generation that hands over an advantage to the next generation. A great generation is a generation that solves problems for the next generation. And it just doesn't solve its own problems for its generation. It also teaches the next generation how to solve their own problems. So you don't pass problems on to the next generation. You pass solutions and problem-solving techniques, problem-solving institutions, problem-solving systems. That's what you teach the next generation. They will have problems of their own. Don't burden them with your problems. Solve! Your generation's problem. So our children must not know what the sound of generators will sound like. Because that is our problem to solve. Our children must understand that candles are lit only by romantic dinners. Our children must understand the love for knowledge that is passed on by teachers who care and love them. That is our generation's problem to solve. Our children must, must not know what it means like to, to have to go abroad for good health care. Who goes abroad in the United States? Where is abroad? Who goes abroad in Britain? Who goes abroad in India? Huh. Ask the right person. 
Our children also must understand that there is a nation that they must inherit that they must be very proud of. Now, I tell you no lie, I am proud, I'm a proud Nigerian. But it's not easy to be proud. I want to see a nation that we make it easier for our children to carry our green passports. In fact, when they tender it on any shore of any nation, the people begin to say, oh, you're a Nigerian, welcome. Because every time a people go from a less developed nation to a more developed nation, they are only called immigrants. But when people go from a more developed nation to a less developed nation, they are called expatriates, regardless of how little they know. So we must stop shipping out our best and brightest and training them in British curriculum schools. Where have you heard in Britain that there's a Nigerian curriculum school? Have you ever heard of a Nigerian curriculum school in America? We must develop the Nigerian curriculum to become a world-class curriculum so that there is no British curriculum because the Nigerian curriculum will prepare a Nigerian child to succeed in any country that they go into. And I can go on and on, time does not permit me. You know the dreams you have for Nigeria. Your dreams are the same as mine. They are the same as everybody else, whether they are rich or poor. People want a nation where they are safe in whether, whichever part of the nation that they're in. People want constant power. Power should not be a prayer point. Father Lord, in the name of Jesus, as we get home, let there be. <laughs> People should not be scared of falling sick. They shouldn't want to fall sick, but they shouldn't be scared of falling sick. But if we're going to build that great nation, we as a great generation must accept, believe, commit, and deliver it. And in accepting responsibility to build that great nation, I want to quickly share with you three things that I believe are very critical that you and I must hold very dear in our hearts. Number one, we must desire the nation that we want to give to the next generation. Meaning we must want it. In fact, we must need it. A great nation is not a nice thing to have, it's a neat thing to have. You were born in Nigeria to fix Nigeria. The decision to have you born in Nigeria was not because of some kind of intercourse between your father and your mother. And if you doubt that sexual activity is what produces, does not produce children, ask any couple that have been waiting for years. You know it's not because they're not getting busy. People are planted in nations. And they are planted in nations to build, to work, to guide, to guard and to produce a better version of the nation they were born in when their children are born. That is why you were born here. You are not here by mistake. You are not here because your father had a dream. I've, I've been telling myself that for many years. We are here because it was the sovereign summons of God. And we are ordained with talent, with passion, and with personality to be able to identify a problem and solve it for our generation. So let me help you understand it just in case you are looking to still find a way to travel abroad. Because today, people are running from Nigeria because they believe Nigeria is not working. You are seeing assistant general managers run away into countries where they can provide education for their children because education system is not working. Now, all over Canada, you see many people that we celebrated, oh, they've gone to Canada. Many of them is their wives that are working. Career, career gentlemen are sitting at home and picking up children from school, things they were never able to do. It's good, don't get me wrong, but it wasn't what they thought of when they graduated. They never thought to themselves that they would be going out there and what they would be would have lost their status as the breadwinner of their own homes. That's because a nation is barely working. Now, let me be clear. If you need generator to get power in your house, Nigeria is not yet working for you. If you need a borehole to be able to bring water out of your taps, Nigeria is not yet working for you. If you need to be able to send your children to school abroad or to British curriculum schools, Nigeria is still not yet working for you. But that's not just those that Nigeria is not working for. Nigeria is not working for anybody. A friend of mine who is doing amazing things in the United States 